Talked about it's Grimes and Sasser, the two leading scorers. Let's see what kind of production they can get out of them in this game here. This is Gorn working in the post, and he is the first. And I like Houston's thought of going inside first, and Justin Gorham, who's one of the best rebounders in the country, Z Houston, run out. They're not trying to turn the ball over, but they're, certain, they're certainly trying to get their hands in the lane, get some deflections, and get some easy run outs. Michael Durr, the seven-footer, with the left hand. Good job by Gorham to sell it. Houston with an early 4-2 lead, two minutes into the game. Nice pass inside, and this game, South Florida has so much size on the inside. Michael Durr is seven feet tall. Alexis Vietno, six, eight. And Step it up. Now we know Houston can lock down on defense, they can rebound, but where's the offense? Ooh, nice little floater. Double the post, Houston immediately as soon as Yetna touched that ball. They're going to the other side of the post, and that is. It looks like he's trying to get comfortable early, and I like South Florida's strategy of going inside to out. How about Jerome? Hey, hey, Durr on the miss, Gorham threw it into the backcourt, but tracked down by South Florida. Full shot by David Collins, knocks down the three. Oh. Gets into the paint with the finish, and that was just silver. Valuing the basketball, you see his numbers. Collins, he's getting into the paint with some contact. No. To get inside the paint, John. You see a great defensive team, so difficult to score on. Grimes with a jump shot from the. Collins leads all South Florida scores right now with five. There's a three by Michael Durr. That was offense, and then Houston with the offensive rebound. Trevon Mark will check into the game for the Cougars. Ryan, he'll pull it from downtown. Kansas. Off Friday, Saturday, Sunday to rest, and that was so important for the starters, too, of Houston. They hadn't had a break since December. Hey Players that you really never hear about. Seven point lead. This is the largest of the ball game for Houston. Into the lane and a tough finish. Footers, and this is the size we were talking about in the open. It's it's tough to to go up against that, even though Houston's got good size and length of their own. Okay, quit. Xavier Castaneda in the game here for South Florida as well. Castaneda with a nice dish in the corner to Yetna, and Yetna he will Houston off the offensive glass. They're hungry. Mark him the trees, and he will finish. Hitting 10 threes in their last game. That set a school record at 32 points against Our Lady of the Lake. Big time. That's a nice pull up there from Caleb Murray. Just an uncharacteristic finish, which is a miss for Grimes at point blank range. Oh, that's a nice move inside. Collins is blocked, but Durr is there for the put. -back. Really knew what to expect tonight. But Durr, when I talked to him yesterday, he said, We've had our home workouts. All the guys live in an apartment complex together, so we've been working out together as Jero dead on. Comes Caleb Murphy. Hey! Okay with the one. And I, you know, you haven't even seen him take a lot of shots tonight. He's literally just shot one time. There's Sasser with the ball in his hands. He's gonna pass it to Jarrell for a three. And Jarrell will can it. Watch it. Houston with a three-point lead, a nice pass inside to Reggie Cheney. Of course, Bryce Thompson being out doesn't help a whole lot. Houston with a five-point lead, and Collins slip. He's kind of muscled his way through a couple different defenders there for Houston. And again, that's what he does. He gets to the to the rim. Jarrell with a nice dish to shooting guard all in one. Five-point lead, and there's a steal by Sasser. And Sasser will finish up against Rashawn Will. One bid league. That seems kind of ridiculous when you think about the talent um, and the teams that are in this league. So, you know, we believe it, but we'd like to have some more expert opinions. You see the duck and the finish that's inside. So let's see where the Bulls are going to go to to get an answer to stop this run. Houston on a 6-0 run over the last minute and 30. Dead on three by Williams, and he That'll gets work. it. Just getting past to Sasser. And on the shot clock for Houston. Now Grimes, who used the screen, 
pulls up for three. Got it, man. A 14 to five run after the game was tied up at 27 apiece. Williams trying to knock down back-to-back -back threes, and he does off the bench. Two threes, he's got six points. And it's a six-point ball game here. Jarrell into the lane, back iron, and it rolled in. The late that turned into points. Uh, but it was a, uh, it took a while for Houston. How about South Florida, the rebounding edge, bro? Yeah, we knew this was gonna be a close game uh, in terms of rebounding in South Florida. <laughs> Seconds on the shot clock for Jarrell. Crossover, corner three. Many dominant teams, as we've seen in, in past years, especially in the ACC, like you mentioned. Big 10 is tough. I mean, we're looking at Michigan as possible number one seed. That's a nice strong. See how, how much faster Houston is moving the ball around. You, you feel the pace has picked up. And there's more purposeful passing, and that's deep. This is definitely one of his most impressive performances I've seen from him this season. Mm -hmm. Grimes, three. And look who's got it. I said, let's wait to the 16-minute mark in the second half, see where they're at. And I think Houston responded within the last four minutes of the first. That huge hustle play right there. He talks a lot about you, you can't control the events, but you can control the response to the events. As we see an unfortunate turnover for the Bulls, but the Cougars looking good in the run out. Ooh, wee, that was nice ball movement. 32-day layoff. They played January the 9th. That was their last game before tonight. Cheney puts that one back in. They had seven games postponed. They didn't even have a full team practice just in, until a couple days ago. So with the hook shot in and out, rebound goes to Gorm. Ooh, I like the run out. Keeps him in the fast break looking good. These last few possessions. Giroux with... There's Chi underneath, but that one is stripped. And Quentin Grimes with the pull up three. He is feeling it. Yeah. Another missed shot by South Florida. And Houston, they're really looking to push this pace. Yeah, I like this pace for Houston because that's their, their feeling are just dynamic and fun to watch, like Caleb Murphy and Collins. Castaneda can hit some threes. Speaking of them. <laughs> Carter in practice, and the results then will speak for themselves. Here's David Collins with a steal. And Collins is caught. Loose ball. <laughs> South Florida comes up with it. Dave Tillman for Cheetah donated a huge family donation. They got the practice facility built. They fixed up the arena. And here comes South Florida with the loose ball. Nice. Nice finish by Alexis. Yeah. The best, their offensive rebounds. And this is why all teams, when they play Houston, they know it's going to be a long night on the boards. They struggle. That's a great look. We talked about his Two minutes to play here at the Yingling Center in Tampa, Florida. Grimes, another good dish. And Reggie Chaney will finish it off. But they come away with another steal. And Justin Gorm will... But they ran up against a number eight Houston squad that just found a way to push this lead and they get it done. Final score here in Tampa. Houston 82, South Florida 65.